Hello, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about image file types and file sizes that you can use on your Squarespace website. And we'll also talk a little bit about what they mean for SEO. So um, if that's what you want to know, this is going to be a really quick, short, nice and easy video straight to the point. So let's get right on into it. I am going to share my screen quickly because I wanted to let you know that I have a Squarespace SEO checklist. So if you want to learn more about SEO on your Squarespace website, then you should grab a copy of this. I'm going to link to it down below and it's totally free. It's been downloaded by thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So you are an excellent company here. And whether you are a total beginner just starting out with SEO, or maybe you've been at this like a little while, but you want to make sure you haven't forgotten anything, then this Squarespace SEO checklist is for you. So yep, grab a copy of it and um, thank me later. But here we are today, we are talking about images on your Squarespace website, the file size and the file format. So this is one of the things, let's begin with the file uh, file format. People come to me all the time and they're asking me like, okay, Charlotte, like what kind of images can I use on my website? Is one of them best? Is there something that I should be using or not avoiding? Whatever it is. And let's answer that quickly. So basically there are three different type of images that you can use on a Squarespace website, okay? You can use a JPEG, like .jpg, you can use a PNG, and you can use a GIF or GIF, whatever. I don't know, tomato, tomato kind of thing. So those are the three different file formats you can use for an image. Those ones are totally fine. They're just kind of normal and standard. So odds are you will have one of those, okay? Things that you cannot use is you cannot use an image that is a PDF, so no PDF images. You can still use PDFs on your website, but you just can't like insert them as an image, you know? No PDFs, um, no .psd, .psd files, and no .doc files, okay? So stick to a JPEG, stick to a PNG, stick to a GIF, you'll be fine with those. Okay, the next thing that we are going to talk about is the file size. This is perhaps one of the most common questions that I get asked about images, especially when it comes to, you know, whether it's building a website, SEO, things like that. So quick answer about the file size is that Squarespace recommends that your image file sizes are smaller than 500 KBs or like 500 KB or less, because if you have smaller images, that will help the page to load quicker. And page speed is definitely a factor that matters, both in terms of user experience, as well as um, overall SEO. And basically one of the things that we want, the thing that we should strive for when it comes to um, our Squarespace websites and SEO is we want nimble pages. And I have a video that I'm going to link to up above that talks a bit more about nimble pages on, um, you know, and what they mean for Squarespace SEO. But yeah, basically, if you have smaller images, then that can be really helpful. And one of the things that you might want to consider is when you're looking at the image file size, and if you're like, oh, wow, like that image that I have is quite large, maybe I want to compress it or something, then I recommend that you use here. I'm going to show you just one second. I recommend that you use this free tool that I personally use all the time, whoops, um, called Tiny PNG. And this is where literally all you have to do is just drag the file here and it will compress it for you. So yeah, if you have a larger file size and you want to get it to like that under 500 limit, then use Tiny PNG. It's great. And another thing to consider speaking about image file sizes is if you have multiple image on a page, you know, whether it's just normal image blocks, if you're using a gallery, if you have them on product pages, whatever it happens to be. In this case, um, Squarespace recommends that you have like a 200 megabyte limit on the page itself. So think about how many images you have in total and how you can compress them to generally stay under that limit. Okay. So those are a couple of things that I want you to think about when it comes to images and whether we're talking about the file format or the file size, if you stick to those recommendations, then you will be good. You will be all set. And yeah, again, the really, the thing that I just want to emphasize for you is that if you have images that are in a reasonable size, um, then that will be better for SEO. And you also want to make sure that in addition to using a correct, um, image 
format. So like, you know, a JPEG, PNG, GIF or whatever. So that's the format. You also want to make sure it's a good size. So under 500 like KBs. Um, stick to those two things. Make sure as well that you are naming your image correctly for SEO. Um, and I do have, I'm going to link to it down below. I have an image guidelines for Squarespace SEO. Um, it's a really good guide that you can take a look at. It shows you everything you need to know about images, how to name them, format them, like basically anything you need to know about an image on a Squarespace website that will be helpful for you. So I'll leave a link to it down below. You can take a peek at that. And otherwise, I hope that this um, short and sweet video was helpful, straight to the point. All right, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to grab a copy of the Squarespace SEO checklist if that is going to be helpful for you. Um, peruse the other videos that I have here on my YouTube channel or the content on my blog and website for more about Squarespace SEO websites, online marketing and business, all that jazz. And that's it for today. I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye.